Hello, everyone. We're live. <laughs> I think we're live. So if uh, if you can see us in the Business Boost group here, I, this is Karen. I'm here with Melanie McCluskey, extraordinary coach. We're talking about our interviews about what's working now. So if you want to just type in the comments and let us know who you are, that you're here and where you're coming, uh, calling in from, we'd love to know. Uh, so let's see, Melanie, I, I'm just so excited to have you here with us. I know I'm in Tucson. Where are you calling in from? I live in Hood River, Oregon in the Columbia River Gorge, and it's uh, about an hour from Portland, Oregon, right on the border of Washington and Oregon in the Pacific Northwest of the <sighs> States. So beautiful, yeah. beautiful. One of my favorite places, actually, I would say. Wow. So Melanie, I'm going to start us right out and ask you, tell us a little bit about yourself and your business. What do you do? What clients do you serve? So I am a coach, obviously, and I do both life coaching and I work with a lot of solar entrepreneurs. And uh, so I like to say that I work with change makers who are committed to making powerful transformations within themselves so that they can also make a powerful transformation for the world. And um, I also support uh, people in transition. I work with cancer survivors. Mm -hmm. I have a number of different um, credentials that I've, I've gotten over the years. And uh, I also support business builders in doTERRA. So that's like a, a, a additional thing. I really love tools for transformation. And as part of my strengths, I work with um, Gallup strengths and a few other things. And so I, I like to use a lot of tools in my business that can really support powerful transformation in people and to bring new things to the world. So I sort of weave all that in, but my primary is to work with people who are creating change in the world. Amazing. And you know, you're so talented, Melanie. And I will say that um, I love essential oils and I think those are transformational tools. Yeah. And they're, to me, you know me, I'm all about leverage. Putting yeah. oils on, it takes a second, right? Then it's really leveraged activity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love things that can change our mindset or our energy in just, a, in just a moment. And to be able to leverage these tools to really get do uh, create the change that we want to see and, and help people make things easy. Like I, lo mm. I love how you say like ease and great joy. And mm. those are, are things that I value a lot too. And so it's finding those things that help us to do that is, is really wonderful and fun, making it fun. Mm -hmm. Well, Melanie, yeah. we're doing these interviews in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> and there are some people who are saying, you know, no one's buying coaching and all that. And I know you've had some really great results. What do you find that's working right now for you in your business? What are the tools that are working right now for you? Well, first off, I, I just want to say coaching. Hiring a coach is working for me. Yeah. <laughs> so, <thank you. laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. been like a fantastic thing is to take my own medicine at a time when uncertainty is high, you know, figuring out what it is that really supports us so that we can support others. And I like to say that this is, um, and I've been hearing this a lot from my clients and friends and things like that. And they, they'll say like, this is your time to shine. Like you were made for this. Uh -huh. And, you know, I feel like there's so much opportunity right now at for transformation and for creating change in the world and, and the change that we've always wanted to see, like we're, it's ripe for it. And so I think this is actually um, a really fantastic time. We were just talking about double down, you know, to really mm -hmm. uh, to work our own um, processes and do what works for us so that we can really show up in a powerful way. Did that answer your question? Yes. Yeah. In fact, uh, Melody was, we were in the green room putting on our makeup before this, before this uh, broadcast. And we were talking about how, you know, um, it is a time to double down, like a lot of coaches, some of them, I won't say a lot, because I don't know many of these coaches, but they're kind of sitting back They're they're concerned, they're saying, you know, there are no clients out there and all that. And we know, with the brain's particular activating system, if I believe there aren't any clients, I'm not going to see them. But if I believe there are clients out there, I'm going to see them. And so, yes, double down, you know, really look around for those people. And uh, um, Melanie, before we get into your results, I'd like to ask just a quick question because I'm asking this to everyone. The, the country is opening up, but we do have some stay at home things going on too. So are there any tips you'd like to share during this time of stay at home? So, something that you found 
particularly val valuable for your life? Yeah. You know, I've worked over Zoom for years and at home for myself. And so the things that I've found um, in general that work really well are routine and self-care. And this is also something that you talk about a lot, but understanding what gets you into um, a great mindset to be able to support others. And for me, what works is meditation. And I find when I get off my meditation routine and, and I've I've really recommitted to that during this time when it first started and I was um, I was seeing such great results from that. The thing that I haven't been good at is exercise. You know, I think it's um, it's good to be authentic and be real during this time too of, of what's helping and what you're not doing and just show up as a real person. But um, to me, it's really important to have really good routines for yourself and then making sure it's balanced, making sure that you're getting the social time that you need in a way that works for you. That's not too much. Is it like Zoom fatigue is a real thing. And mm -hmm. you know, uh, getting out in nature so getting outside really works for me and I'm lucky to live in a place that I can still do that. Uh, and, and then having something that you're caring for, whether it's um, your friends or family, even by phone or an animal. I recently got a cat who you might hear. <laughs> you know, it's been I've really seen that fun. cat. <laughs> I know. She seems to really like it when I get on a video. And other uh -huh. times she doesn't care. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> She's funny. So I think, you know, the some of the tips for me is is having your own success schedule, understanding what um, helps you leverage your own pr productivity. Mm -hmm. And I have some tricks for that. Making one thing to, is make sure I have a completely free day and uh and then have other days where i'm really focused and so i you know those free days really feed i i say that as a coach those are our most important days of the week because they fuel our creativity when we completely let our brain go and and let go of our work and things like that they actually make our focus days much more productive so so that's a little coach tip but yeah, wow. you remind me of Dan Sullivan. He used to have the free days, the focus days, and the buffer yeah. days. Yes. Uh, yes. And I, I studied him like, I don't know, back in Y2K probably. But it is yeah. true. He yeah. said, you know, just have a completely free day at least one a week. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And I learned it from Jack Canfield, who I think learned it from him. So, <laughs> yeah. And I, I share that with a lot of my clients and they, they uh, have really great results from it. So if you haven't heard about it, you know, definitely check it out. Yeah. Google it. So Melody, I want to say, I, I would really love for you to share some of your results that you're having during this pandemic. Cause I think it, it just inspires all the coaches to know, Hey, what's really happening out there. Yeah. Well, one thing for sure is I'm getting new clients, which is fantastic. And mm -hmm. uh, I will also say, you know, in supporting some of my other clients, um, I wanted to say that, you know, really supporting them to go bigger in this time when they want to shrink down. And uh, for example, I have one person that I've worked with for years and years and years, and she is a former Olympian and she was looking at uh, launching a Kickstarter and we had a conversation and a session around that where she really didn't feel comfortable and she was asking all her friends and she's like, this isn't the time to ask for money or do this, but the product was something the world really needs right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really encouraged her to go for it. I was like, really, what else do you have going on? You know, uh -huh. and it's the worst that could happen. And the, it was interesting because that she knocked it out of the park. And at the time, like she, they almost doubled and uh, got a lot of press and things like that. And I knew that that was going to happen. And so for me, I think, you know, the successes are also to see where your clients could be successful and really encourage them because this is a time when everyone feels like shrinking back with the uncertainty. But as a coach, you know, I, I'm, I'm seen a lot as a big cheerleader. And so I'm looking for people to cheer on about things that they that the world needs right now and supporting them in that. So that's helped me to actually be more successful. And there's places where, that I'm really uncomfortable actually uh, being seen and putting myself out there a lot. And so to use that phrase again, I've doubled down on that, you know, mm -hmm. and I hired a coach with that and that's seeing great results. You know, some of the things that we work with in the quick start, the processes, I won't say too much because it's <laughs> but, um, 
but the, you know, some of those things have really helped me to see myself in a new way and to see what works and then to do more of that. And so that's been really helpful. Um, and then what else did I do? I did a 10 week free series for clients mm. I've never done before. And that was uh, a big reach for me. But at the same time, that really helped me to understand what I could do more of. And I've done group coaching programs before, but not quite in that format. So I'll be getting ready to do to launch a, a program this fall. And that really helped me to see uh, <clears throat> what I could be doing more of. And <clears throat> excuse me, I think that was something that was a, a inner success for me to try something new see the results that I got, see how popular it was, and then know that I could do a paid program later and have the um, the understanding and the experience that would help to do that. So I think those are a few things. Um, and what's been fun with that is I was drawing people from all around the country and that feels like a success mm -hmm. as well. And then, um, yeah, I just think, you know, understanding that you can take imperfect action right now and it's being celebrated you know, that, that that's what everybody's doing. They're trying mm -hmm. new things and, you know, Jimmy Fallon's taking impact, imperfect action and, you know, everybody's <laughs> things. So, so I think just, just really trying things feels like a success too. Mm -hmm. And I see we have a few people with us. I just want to say hello to whoever is with us in our Be Live studio. I can see, um, Melanie, you are amazing. And we've got somebody saying hi, ladies. And I'm going to just find out who those people are. I have two different screens here because of this, the Facebook stuff. Oh, and t that's Tiffany. Oh, and um, Elena, welcome. Welcome to both of you. Okay. So Melanie, I wanted to ask, would you be willing to share even some numbers of um, revenue that you've generated during this pandemic? Let's see. Uh, sure. I think I think I'm almost halfway to my revenue revenue goal. So my revenue goal was fifteen thousand for our for a quarter, and uh, I'm probably around six or so with that. And, and that's in about a month, isn't it? I mean, it really hasn't been that long. Maybe well, yeah, months? almost two months. Yeah, yeah. And I would say, you know, I got a brand new client right right away. I have a couple new clients in the works that have come from some of the conversations that I've been having. Uh, that will be this summer. And the summer is generally my, my biggest downtime as a coach. Um, I run events in midwinter, and so I get a lot of clients there. So what's been cool is, is seeing how I'm more consistent right now. So I actually think people need us more than, now than ever, mm -hmm. and that the money's there. It's just mm -hmm. whether or not you're willing to ask for it and to offer support to people and, and offer it in a way that they understand what it could mean to them. So uh, let's see. So I've got two new clients, another one in the works um, that said they were going to start in June. And uh, so I'm very consistent with my mm -hmm. revenue and then maybe even a little bit more than I've had. And then I have a number of ongoing people and groups that I'm in and they, they're finding it extremely valuable right now. So no one has wanted to stop coaching. You know, that happened before, right at the beginning, I had two down months. So February and March were, were really, really down. And, uh, and then it went, you know, as soon as I started the quick start, <laughs> I got a client oh. the next day, you know, <laughs> it's so true, isn't it? Having that kind of a, um, of a group. And I yeah. want to ask you, what has it meant to your life to be able to be serving clients and have revenue during this time? You know, it's, it's been amazing. It's been just that, that exactly what we want to give others is that sense of stability and hope and trust and, and all those, those good things to have courage to be able to have a steady revenue has been allowed me to have the mindset that I need to stay in the place that I need to stay to uh, create more for others and to, to be, you know, really be there for people. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and of course, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty going forward. And so to be able to kind of build this foundation and not dip into my savings and things like that has been really quite a relief. And uh, yeah, I just, I think it's meant a lot to be able to create uh, stability for others as well, to, to feel that myself and know how it feels 
that we're creating this as business owners ourselves and that we can help other people do that too to create stability in their life. So beautiful, Melanie. And I just want to, you know, in wrapping up and asking you kind of this final question, what would you say to coaches out there who are maybe a little nervous, but want to create that own, their own stability, that stability for themselves? What advice, since we're not in a coaching session, we can give some right. advice here. What yeah. advice would you yeah. give? <laughs> You know, everything's mindset. Attitude is everything. And that's mm -hmm. something that we can really shine with. And if you're seeing that your attitude isn't quite how it, it should be or, or how it could be, that you're not showing up as, as the powerful person and coach that you know that you are, then get help. So mm -hmm. this is the time to get a coach. And this is the time to really understand the process of switching your mindset to something that's, that's successful and stable and powerful. And that what is it that you need to do that? You know, and for me, it was a coach and community and uh, asking, you know, getting reflection from some of my clients in my own community to, to see how they see me as a powerful support for others. And, um, you know, don't believe everything your brain says. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe those gremlins. Don't believe that voice. Mm -hmm. You know, trust, trust the tools and, and who you know you are as a coach and also trust your dream and trust mm -hmm. that, that pull towards what you've wanted to create and that vision. Now's the time to get really clear on the vision that you've had for yourself and to pull out all the stops to actually attain it. You know, it's not that, that someday, like today is someday. Today mm -hmm. is the day to do it and uh, to understand that. And so, and I also think having an accountability partner um, and, and to take the, those consistent money-making actions that, uh, and, and not do those other actions that we think we should do, but the first thing that you do is those consistent money-making actions mm -hmm. that you bring money in now. And I might've heard this from my coach. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and that that really helps to create more, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, I can do that. And then now I can spend my extra time, like figuring out QuickBooks or figuring out all these other things, but to really, and it was funny because that was one of the uh, feedback that I got from one of my clients was, she was like, you know, 10 years ago, you told me if I didn't know what to do, then to just do something that was going to make me money today, you know, mm -hmm. invoicing. And then it just, you just feel so much better. Yeah. You're like, oh, okay, and now you can create more, and now you can worry mm -hmm. about the other things, you know, so the wheels don't fall off the bus. But, um, but you need to make sure that you're bringing in money to feel, you know, um, to feel really consistent. And then, you know, I think it's a, it's really a time to be a lighthouse for your community and your mm -hmm. clients and things like that. So, what is it that it takes for you to shine right now? Do that so that you can show up in a way that you feel really good about and powerful, and it's just going to help. Um, not only you, but the world. So. Yeah, most coaches I know are, don't shine when we're doing QuickBooks. That's for yeah. sure, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Necessary, but minimize your time. Well, Melanie, yeah. I am just so thrilled to be connected with you. I'm so thrilled to be working with you. And I know that, that you're going to meet and exceed your goal. And it's so exciting to see this, you know, in the middle of, the, of a pandemic, of what's going on in the world, of yeah. all the uncertainty, that um, be that lighthouse. I just love that idea. And also the idea of hiring a coach. I've said this for many years. You know, it, it, when you start investing in yourself, people get that energy. And I'm yeah. not saying you've got to hire me or Melanie or anybody in particular, but make that investment in yourself through another person because then your clients are going to understand that and yep. actually you're going to understand that and it's going to be much easier to ask people for money when you've just plunked down some money for a coach i mean i i i know it's been true for me all these years yeah one thing that what a word that i really love is generative so it creates this generative energy that you're shifting and changing and that you're trusting change as well when you're working with a coach and then your clients see that. Your clients see that it's safe to change, that you don't have all the answers, that you're looking outside of yourself to, for support as well. And so it also creates this authenticity. So, mm -hmm. I, and I think that's really important to show up as a real person these days and uh, to, to work towards your most powerful self as well and to be in motion. So I think that, that 
that creates that generative energy that people really grasp and, and love. So mm -hmm. thank you so much for doing this and doing everything we do because it's really powerful for people and, and it just gives us such a, a great, you have such a great community and also, you know, you've created that with, you know, being in your essence energy and, and teaching us to do the same thing. And I just, I'm really appreciative of, of how you show up in the world. Oh, thank you, Melanie. And thank you for taking time to share your experience with other coaches. So Melanie McCluskey, you heard it here. <laughs> um, and I'm going to uh, now, now I'm going to, uh, uh, you know, let you go so you can go enjoy this beautiful day in Oregon. And it's actually a uh, it's actually too hot in Tucson for me to go out right now, but in that tomorrow morning, it'll be okay. Yeah, All right. Thank, there, thank you so you. much, Melanie. And um, thank you everyone for being here and sharing in this. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll have some more what's working now interviews coming up. All right. Bye-bye for now.